Okay, I'm getting ready to install this uh, power watchdog. Okay, I'm getting ready to install this uh, power watchdog. It's a smart surge protector and uh, it just kind of protects an RV made by Hughes Auto Formers. This is a 50 amp with uh, emergency power off. So if something goes wrong with the power, it'll uh, automatically shut down the power going into the RV or motorhome. In my case, it's a motorhome. Um, it's a hardwired. You can get it to uh, plug into the outlet uh, to your power pole in a campground or wherever you're at. Um, if you want to do it that way, um, I want to. I'm doing the uh, hardwired model because uh, I want protection on the generator also. So anyway, we're going to install that. And uh, first thing I want to do, I've had a progressive. Uh, Progressive Industries surge protector for several years, and it's fine. Um, I just uh, the Hughes Auto Formers have a um, app so you can monitor the the uh, power usage, and uh, I want to know that. I guess I'm probably a little bit too nerdy. Nerdy. Um, anyway, this is the. Uh, unit that's currently installed right there with the display on it I don't know if you can see that or not but it displays the voltage and the amp draw but it's outside and I can't continually watch that so we're gonna take that out and replace it with the with the power watchdog so we'll get started first of all I'm gonna disconnect the power cord from up here at the breaker box so we don't have any power going into it so that's disconnected and I saw also shut off the breakers to the uh, generator so in case the generator starts um, we won't have any power to the coach at all so we'll go ahead and get started okay so here's our power cord that would go to the power outlet power post comes in here to the transfer switch which the generator power comes into here and then here's the power cord from the shore power and then this is my cord that came out of the transfer switch that normally would just go into the motor home up here um, so I'd split that before and put this surge protector in um, so we just basically got to remove that and install the the watchdog in its place and that way I can monitor the output and power usage on the uh, the watchdog app so let's go ahead and open this up see what's in the box kind of cool got zip lock closure on the lid and here it is. A couple cable clamps it looks like. Mounting screws. And then here's the unit itself. So, and I see a problem already. Um, the outlet and in for the wiring is in opposite ends of the of the existing one so instead of going and messing around with buying new cables I'm just gonna mount this upside down I guess so we'll get the camera on a tripod and get started okay first thing we need to do is unscrew the the lid of the uh, progressive uh, 
surge protector. Okay, got the wire out of the inside. Now I gotta pull this display board out. That one's made so you can put it any way you want to and be that's kinda nice about that. Got the old one out, ready to install the new one. Got to put these here. Um, mounting brackets to the, screw them to the back of the watchdog. Aluminum brackets go right here. Put the screws in there. Got these tapered head screws. The reason I'm showing all this is because uh, found some videos on YouTube didn't really show the whole installation process so, so I wanted to do that and uh, and then I couldn't find any videos that showed much about the app so that was uh, one of the main things I wanted to show is how the app works because that's the main reason I'm changing this I'll figure out where I want to put it like about right there. These are labeled correctly. Too big a screwdriver. Don't give you a not very big to get much torque on them, but Kind of an odd sized screw they used. I don't really have a great screwdriver for that. I guess the only complaint I have so far, of course we haven't got that much done yet, is that the screws are so small. I'm not sure why they would do that. That's those are normal size screws for that heavy wire. That I finally found a bit that would work. So anyway, now we're ready to hook up the wires. Okay, got all the wires connected. Just go over them several times. They will loosen up at first for a while. I'd suggest you check these once in a while. Make sure they're good and tight. Okay, ready to turn the power on. see what this thing does. I'm going to try both the, the generator and the, and the power pole. We'll do the power pole first. Turning the power on. And the light comes on, 
and I could hear the power turn on. I don't know if you could hear that, but the the, the watchdog lit up white, which is supposed to do when it's everything's right. Display up here only lights up if there's a problem. There's another light here that'll turn red when park power neutral is missing. Okay, so now we're ready to install the app. So, I'm using an iPhone. Um, Android's got an app too. So, go to the App Store and then uh, you're gonna search for Watchdog is what I searched for. Went down the list. You want the one, if you got the emergency power off, you want the EPO power watchdog. So download it. I've had it installed before, so it installs quick. Click open. And there's a, a watchdog app. Wants to know if you want to use Bluetooth, you have to do that. And then if you want notifications, and I want notifications, so I'll click allow. And then you click the plus, add device. Uh, would like to access the camera, so click OK. Now you scan this barcode right up here, um, wherever it's at. Mine's upside down, remember. Device name. So I'll just call it Motorhome. Click OK, and then click Find Device. Tap on your device. Connect to Motorhome. Sorry if you can't read that. Connect. And there, I found it. So this is the part I couldn't find very much information on the internet. So, so is your watts being used? 440 watts uh, using point used point K point one kilowatt hours voltage on line ones 122 drawing 4.7 amps line two voltage is 123 and drawing zero amps and uh, it says on I don't know what the on button does we'll find out I guess it just tells you that the power's on. Then you can't push it, so I'm gonna kill the shore power and uh, start up the generator. Started the generator. By the time I got back here, the white bulldog light was on, and uh, right now it's showing no usage because it takes a while for the power inverter to start or the battery charger power inverter whatever you want to call it there it's starting it's drawing seven amps basically got 120 volts on line one 120 volts on line two now I'll go inside and I'll turn a heat pump on since it's cool today I'll turn the heat pump on turn that up and uh, Show you what kind of amperage we're drawing on those on the heat pump. Press the reset button. Um, it did reset the kilowatt hours, but it did not reset the wattage. So the watts is what it's currently using, I guess. Okay, I'll go turn the heat pumps on. Both heat pumps are on. It's using 2,700 watts, 2,750 watts, 12.9 um, amps on line one, 11.5 amps on line two. And that's the whole reason I bought this watchdog and replaced my progressive. If you're not, if you don't care about that kind of stuff, I don't, again, I don't have a problem at all with the progressive in it. It's worked good for. I don't know, I probably had it on three years maybe. So, but I like to, uh, I like to see how much amperage I'm pulling because 
Um, sometimes I've tripped a breaker, lost power to something, air conditioner quit or something, and don't know what's going on. I should be able to open the app and tell right away. So, seems to be doing its job, and I'll uh, I'll be liking be able to monitor the power usage. Thanks for watching.